Welcome back to the Bob Davis Two Minute Updates on the Bob Davis Podcast.com. Okay, uh, now we can start counting it down. T minus four. Repeat, T minus four. And of course, we should go to wall to wall coverage with reports from Washington and from all corners of the globe concerning the effects of the possible debt crisis, the default crisis that may occur. Um, we're not going to do that. Number one, number one, it's Friday, and Tom and I are tired. <laughs> we're not really tired, okay? We're just in a celebratory mood, right, Tom? That's right. We've made a long week. Where are you? There you are. Long week, uh, and we don't. We're just going to have some fun today. But we are going to talk about all these things. I'm a, I'm incensed at the failed liberal newspapers' coverage of um, the debt ceiling crisis. They went out and talked to a bunch of economists that said, "Hey, the market's down because of the economy and some other reasons." And then they wrote a story about how the market's down because of the debt default issue, which is, you know, not what Wall Street thinks, and it's not what business leaders think. It's ridiculous. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, the Morgan Freeman debate continues. What? They got a guy in Wisconsin doing a spot for some political person that's a conservative, and the voice sounds like Morgan Freeman, and all the liberals are upset. We'll talk about that. Um, well, actually, just the liberals at the failed liberal newspaper <laughs> are upset about it. They, they posted an editorial this morning, so we'll talk about that. And McDonald's is now being told you got to cut out the soda. That's really the problem is you got to cut out the soda. University um, of University nutritionist Nicole French says that um, we have to stop serving soda at McDonald's. Right, Tom? <laughs> That's right. The soda is the best part. What are you talking about? No, and soon it'll be no cheeseburgers. They'll be sending just selling just fruit snacks. Oh no, not fruit snacks. Fruit roll-ups yeah. for everyone. At Mac and Don's. When will they just let businesses do it? If you don't want that, go to some health food store and serve your kid lunch there. Okay, we'll see you at 6 at News Talk 100.3.